Hello, vintage friends. Welcome to a demonstration of Connectix RAM Doubler utility software. Now, RAM Doubler was created by Connectix back in the 90s, and its claim to fame was that it would double the amount of system memory that your machine had available to it, as you can see from this graphic on the back. And in the 90s, there was some, what you call, smoke and mirrors software that came out, one of them being Soft RAM, which uh, didn't really do anything to uh, your machine. It just fooled you. But I'm going to show you how RAM Doubler actually did what it was advertising to do. So here we have a Macintosh LC 475. And yep, it's been recapped and it's got a new battery. And this machine has four megabytes of onboard RAM. And for this demonstration, I've put an eight meg SIM in, which gives us 12 megs of onboard system memory. And you can see here that this is the keyboard and the mouse that are attached to this machine. So let's go ahead and let's get some info here. So here we have our Macintosh LC 475, and you can see that it has 12 megabytes of RAM. The system takes up uh, 2.8 megs, and it leaves us 9,400 megs free, or 9,400K free. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try and open every one of these programs. We're going to see what happens. And as you can see, we've already run out of memory. So if you see here, we have Photoshop, Resolve, Claris Works, FileMaker Pro, and HyperCard running, and we have 1.1 megabytes available. So that means that we couldn't open these nine programs that I wanted to open. So not a problem. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to put RAM Doubler back in the system folder. And then we're going to reboot. Now, we're doing this demonstration on this LC-475 that has no internal hard drive at all. So you might be wondering, what exactly are we booting this off of? Well, we're booting this off of a Fujitsu magneto-optical drive. And the reason for that is simple. The Fujitsu magneto-optical disc can be locked. So we can prove the RAM doubler isn't swapping out to disk. So I have now physically locked this disk. So you'll see here, the system isn't booting. And we're gonna put this disk in. And now we have RAM doubler installed. It'll just take a little bit for this to boot up.
So now you'll notice here, we have a file lock icon. It means that this disk is read only. It is absolutely, we cannot create a folder. This is a read only disk. So let's pop into about this Macintosh. And if you look, system is still taking 2.8 megs. Now we have 21.7 megs free. But you might be thinking, well, that's, that's not true. That's just smoke and mirrors. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have the same set of programs. And we're going to open them all at once. And now you'll watch the magic of RAM Doubler. Now, uh, I've tried this test already, and WordPerfect will complain that the disk is locked. And it will beep incessantly. Um, that's further proof that this disk is actually locked. So nothing can be written to the disk, which means no memory can be swapped out to the drive as if it's virtual memory. So what you're seeing here is RAM doubler in action. What it is doing is it's compressing the applications that are in memory, allowing it to achieve double memory availability. Now, not double memory availability, meaning that you can See, there's that disk write protect. Not double memory availability, meaning that you can allocate more RAM to a particular program, but double the, the memory capability for running multiple programs. So if you look here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And of course we have disk, you know, disk locked errors coming up here. So which application did we not end up with? Looks to me like MacWrite Pro. So MacWrite Pro is complaining. Okay. MacWrite Pro won't launch because it's a locked disk. But um, you'll see here, uh, we were able to launch all these applications and we still have 7.6 megabytes free. So let's uh, let's go into the disk and see if there's more that we can load. Let's load Word Five. Flatbush. Yep, there's Word Five. What is that? Let's launch MacWrite 2 and see if that loads. No, it doesn't like the disk being write protected. So further proof that this disk is legitimately write protected. Uh, let's launch each text. There we go. So now as you look here, you'll see we still have 6.6 .6 megs free. Which means we're using 18 megabytes out of 12. This machine has eight plus four. Hmm. Well, it's on Squarks Express. How's that gonna work? Whoa. Well, it let us get to the point where it tells us we can't launch it from a lock volume. If you look here, we have 800K available. So it, it let us launch the program but, you know, we couldn't get any further than that. Um, you know, let's see how many programs we can actually... Uh, There we go. So if you look here, this 12 megabyte machine is currently running one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen applications, totaling just over 22 megabytes on a 12 megabyte machine. So there you have it. 
ram doubler actually worked.